Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is May 5th, 2022. And today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day. Yesterday, we had an FOMC decision. Fed rate increases the interest rates in the United States by half a basis point, And the markets react big. Now, major economic events scheduled for today at 1 p.m. South African time out of Great Britain. We have an official bank rate coming out of there as well. Now, looking at the various markets to see the impact of this Fed decision, we're looking at the four simple U.S. dollar retreats while major pairs strengthen. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones spikes a thousand points while the Nasdaq bounces as well. Looking at commodities, both gold and oil rally in terms of the stocks they gain across the board. And lastly, Bitcoin really unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're starting with the Euro USD at a four hour chart. And look at this 106.15. We rallied over about 50 pips yesterday. Now, this is to be expected, okay? The dollar, well, what what's the point of the Fed interest rates? You know, increasing the basis points is to curb inflation. And so there's a little bit more um, confidence in the markets right now. But let's see if that's long lived or short lived. I mean, we're just, you know, this little bounce is still very, very small. And it's also on very low volume, considering we were right there on supportish area. And looking at the GBP USD did not bounce as much. And this is especially because it's coming out with its own interest rates later today. Now, looking at the Australian dollar did gain the most to 72.41 from 71.32 ish level over 100 pip gain there. Now, looking at the commodities first looking at gold nice little push up to 1900 back in the game okay after selling off down to 1860 crude oil also gaining here to 108 that still has to pass above the 108 to get back to any sort of levels i think it's gonna you know uh taper off at these levels as well now looking at the u.s markets this is looking at the dow jones okay look at this massive move yesterday Look at that, going from 33,000 up to 34,000 in intraday, okay? Most of this is a short squeeze, okay? It means that most of the people that are in it were short this particular symbol, and then they had to get out and then pushed it, pushed it, pushed it higher to 33,900. It probably will correct itself today. Now, I want you to see something on a four-hour chart. Here we do have resistance-ish area, 34,000, okay? Previous support subsequent resistance so this 34,000 to 3400 34,100 is a supportish area the resistance ish area excuse me so i do anticipate some sort of sell off at one point okay especially since we're going to see some sort of correctional move now looking at the nasdaq did not bounce as much 33,000 30, excuse me 13,500 just bouncing off its lows but really not that strong. It looks very similar to the Dow Jones, but still relatively weak. Now, looking at the individual stocks, they did gain. Apple gained over 6.7 points here on the high side, okay? Facebook also gained here from $210 up to $223. Microsoft also gained mildly to $289. Amazon also bouncing a little bit for the first time 2500 now this is what we call possibly a dead cap bounce which means that yes we spiked up but did we really spike up because there's sentiment in the markets that it's going to get better or is it because there's a lot of people that are short the market and squeezed everybody out that's something to consider as we're making this correctional move now lastly looking at jp morgan also correcting itself to 126 from 118 that's a big move on the upside there and cisco as well to $51. Okay, so the next month will be a very telling sign to see if this is really sustainable or was this just a short squeeze. Okay, the market's correcting itself like this. Okay, this is something to consider as we're looking at this. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, trading at 39,600, not doing much. I mean, we're just sideways trading here. Okay, it's about a thousand point move. We're at the top of the range. If you look at a four hour rate, four hour chart, you know, it's not doing much. It really is not doing much, but you could play the ranges and to short a little bit here, I don't think would be unresponsible. I think that would be a decent play right now as it's making its way up here. Okay. Especially since it has 
lower volume after spiking up a little bit okay so with this lower volume as you can see right there that kind of implies that it may still go down and correct itself at this upper area this is fred razak I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you